Hello friends, Sanda here and you are watching The Electric Guy and this is our third video of Audio Tutorials and in this video we will move one more step further and learn what is for statement. Before understanding how to use for statements, let us understand when to use for statement. This can be more easily understood by an example. If you are to control a servo in a way by which when servo reaches to 1 degree, it automatically changes its position to 0 degree and then again to 180 degree. For this to happen, you have to generate a PWM signal of 180 degree for some time and then again PWM signal for 0 degree for some time. Now you will think to put the code of both 1 degree and 0 degree position in the same void loop. But in that case, pin will be high for 3000 microseconds and then low for 6 microseconds and then again high for different microseconds and low for 6 microseconds. This difference of microseconds in both the high state can confuse the servo. So we have to generate a PWM signal of same time for the time till servo reaches to its position. Now let's take a look at Arduino code. In the first line of code, I have declared angle as integer and then in void loop section, I have used for statement. In the first for statement, I have assigned integer angle a value of 0 and also specified to run the code in curly bracket till angle is smaller than or equal to 180 degree. Every time it runs the code in the brackets, it will increment the angle by 1. I have used the value 180 degree because to move the servo 180 degree one each cycle of PWM signal is required. Now, in the second for statement, to move the servo to 0 degree, the reverse of first statement is written, which means integer angle is equal to 20 degree, and this code in the curly brackets will run till the angle is greater than or equal to 0. Every time it will run, it will deduct 1 from angle. I have already talked about the code which is written in the brackets in my previous videos. The link is in the description. After uploading the code, you can see that when the servo reaches 180 degree, it will automatically change its position to 0 degree. You can also implement this for statement to change the brightness of LED. I hope that you learned something new from this video. Please like, comment and share this video. And if you want to stay tuned for upcoming videos, please subscribe.